Hi, my name is Tim. In this video, I will teach you how to make a simple web crawler. Web crawler, or some people call it Spiderbot, is a program that can go through the web pages and find links and go through them. Um, in this video, I'll be making a very simple version of it. It's gonna be very short, and it's gonna be. Uh, I'll explain how it works as well. So let's start with making a new project. Let's call it a web crawler. Okay, so we all we need is one class file for this um, for the um, the spider bot. It's gonna be really simple. So we're just gonna call it crawler. Yes, we want public static void main, and there you go. Okay, so we will need to use um. A Java library, external library called JSU. So, so after you download the JSU jar file, what you want to do, you want to copy that and you want to paste it in the program. So you just paste it in here. And then we need to add this file to our um, class path so that we can use this program. So we're going to go to project, we're gonna go to property, uh, find Java build path, click on class path right here, and add jar. So, and then you can find it inside your file right here. So, and then after that, you click apply and close. Now we can use this Java library now. So, and so what we want to do, uh, let's start with a URL. So, let's, let's see what website we want to crowd. Um, I guess we can crowd the um the wig uh the Wikipedia website. So and so we're gonna use create a function called crowd, and it's gonna be a recursive function. So let's just start. Thinking, what do we need? So we need. Um, so these are the parameters that we're gonna pass into the recursive function. So and these parameters are gonna be defined here. So what we first need is that we need a integer to keep track of our level. So for our spider bot, we don't want to go too deep or else because if we go too deep, it's going to take forever for the spider bot to run. So we want to set like a specific level, like how many layers of website we want to go into until we, until we, until we start, you know, until we start going back up for our recursion. And then we need, also need the, you know, obviously the URL that we want to visit. And we also want to keep track the, um, website that we visited because we don't want to duplicate and it's also like you can index the website that you have been through and so for the level let's just keep it for now five it's the max amount of level you can change it here so that so that we don't want to go too deep we would you know only go through five layers of website and so each layer let's say like the first link will be like the first layer and then the second you know the link every single link on the first page will be called the second layer and then so on and so on and it will be the fifth layer so and then so now we're gonna use the thing called document so so actually before we do that we need to make a separate helper function here to keep thing to keep uh, you know, your code organized so it's gonna it's this function would request access to uh to the link And it's gonna take in, you know, 
the two parameter and so inside here we, we need a try because um, you know sometimes you may not connect to what you want to connect so like if it, it, it can fail so we want to catch the exception it, the exception is going to be IOE exception and so let's so we're going to we also need to use connection this is a thumb this is a, a variable uh, data type come from the um, JSOUP so we're going to do jsoup.connect to this URL right here and then we're going to dot um, so actually we don't we can yeah so it's going to get dot connect there you go and we need to import these functions so import no actually that's not what I wanted I do not want to import that you don't want to, want to import that you want to import you know you want to find the one that says uh, org.jsoup there you go that's the one document you're gonna do the same thing org.jsoup.node is the correct one you can see right here and we still need to import our array list okay and let's put the catch statement right here so ioe says oh my god exception e and in that case, we're just gonna return a null document, so we we're just gonna return something that's null, and all right. Okay, so now what we want to do is that we need to get the document from the connection. So con dot get, and then we're gonna. So now we get the document, but we want to see if the um, the connection. The response codes because sometimes um, the website would not let you um, connect so in this case you know you, you want to make sure that it's connected so you want to check the status code equals equals to 200 in that case that means that in this case it means that okay it's okay to uh, to visit this website and you know so um, it's okay to visit this website and in you know in if if it's not okay to open this website you know it's 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 you don't have to put the status code here but it's something that you it do to like it's like good practice to, to put it, put it in and let's see so we're gonna print out the link and let's print out the title web page so the title you just do dog dot title that's how you print out a title and now we're just gonna add our uh, URL into the visitor list and return all document if it's not if, it, if it's uh, let's say if, if it's if it does not give you a 200 status code then it will return null instead okay cool okay so now we're gonna use it in here so document doc equals to request And then if the document is not null, so that means that it's okay to visit the website, then we're gonna find all the links on the document. So this is how you do it. So for element link, element is a, also a variable type from JSOUP. Select. It's gonna select the the links so this is how you do the uh, links so the, they have a special attack like they have a spe special attribute on their um, a special attribute on their um, on, on, on their in the stream while you when, when, when so like when you go through the website like they when you get the document um, you can use this to find all the links on the document and let's import element okay and then 
but then this this link right here is raw so it's like not ready so we gotta need to um i need to get rid of the hr href and then so then we're gonna check if we visit this website or, or i mean this this link already so we're gonna do visit it dot contain um url uh no not url sorry next link equal equals to false if that's the case then we crawl we continue to crawl so we just put type crawl and then we increase our level so that's gonna be our next level and then it's gonna be next link it's gonna be the next link and then visit it passing on the visit it. so yeah so this is pre this is the entire code only about 50 lines of code that you can yeah, I mean it's less than if you count the space. So, um, so this is this is the spider bot. Let's run it and see. Yeah, it's going through, it's going through everything. So um, this will continue to run. It's not run a while because there's a lot of webs web pages on Wikipedia. So this is a simple version of web crawler. Thank you for watching the video. Please like and subscribe if you have any question. Um, co comment down below, ask me. And also the link to the JSUB web uh, page that you can download the jar is gonna be in the description. And also check out my other videos. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Peace.